AFK farming in Guild Wars 2 has been an issue for a good while now. And this week, Anat was actually able to put a measure in order for it to not happen anymore. Every five minutes, if you're in combat, you will actually get kicked, therefore making any AFK farming for long periods of time unavailable. That being said, they actually forgot to put it in or it was bugged and it didn't work until today. So let's see if there's actually some people, you know, still AFKing inside of Guild Wars 2. Subscribe channel for more of this, go to my Confi if you want to support me, and let's get into it. So right now, I'm on an A and I'm one of the most popular spots in terms of AFK uh, farming. And there's no one here. No one, none at all. I did check also Blood Tide Coast. Um, and Domain of Istan, and there was way less people that usually were. I actually talked to some gamers as well that usually cover this, and we're gonna go to Domain of Istan as well to see, and they seem to think that there is actually a big reduction of them. Uh, that being said, there are still of them. There's, there's still a good amount. Um, but the difference is, and I can tell you because I went in there and asked, uh, there seems to be a lot of them that are, that are just, instead of completely AFKing, they're semi-AFKing. They are letting their automatic build kind of out attack or let their minions attack the enemies to farm but they're still there monitoring it they have their a screen there they're in the computer they're maybe doing something else in the other side um but they are there as when i actually went in there i actually asked them and they actually responded you can see here <coughs> i was asking them hey guys are you farming there you no know, one person responded here asked another spot and they said yeah i'm watching your stream i'm killing stuff i guess same law they're just they're just hanging out while uh um, out attacking, right? Which, you know, some people might not actually like, but at the end of the day, MMOs really kind of do have this kind of um, this kind of gameplay uh, in all of them, right? Some farms that you just kill the same enemy over and over again. The problem that, of course, Guild Wars 2 has is that the out attacks or AFK builds are very powerful. So unless they actually nerf that in some way or make you not be able to, <coughs> you know, put any of your abilities off cooldown just sp spammed, right, uh, automatically, I think it's going to be a bit hard for them to actually make it um, disappear completely. Now, should that happen? I guess I'm going to let you guys um, decide that in the comments. But personally, as long as they're in their computer farming and these actual farms are not insanely good, I think it's fine. The big problem was when there was an insane amount of people you know, not only uh, AFKing through the entirety of the day and multiple days and no one while well, not being there, but also multiboxing this, making this insanely profitable. That being said, we do know more or less how this is actually working. So right now, <coughs> if you're in combat and not moving for minutes, for five minutes, you will actually, you know, you will not be able to, uh, you, you'll, you'll get logged out. If you're going out of combat and also not moving uh, for five minutes after going out of, in combat, you're gonna get AFK and you're gonna get out. Now, if you move after going out of combat, you will actually be able to keep playing. That applies not only to that, but to jumping, dodging, and of course also uh, pressing any of your utility abilities as this cannot, this cannot be um, auto-casted, right? Like this one's can, right? So what does this mean? This means that, you know, as long as, you know, you are actually, every five minutes, go into your game. For example, let's say I'm doing something else on my other monitor, and I alt tap back every five minutes, I have a timer or whatever, and I press, you know, I don't know, heal ability. Or I just jump. I'll be fine. I'll be, be able to continuously AFK farm. Now, this means, of course, that you are going to be able to just, you know, spacebar, you know, alt tab, spacebar every five minutes, and you'll be able to continue, continue your farm. Now... Um, there's also people that have told me about the fact that you can probably macro this, but honestly, the only macro you, you could use in order to do this is just to alt tap into Guild Wars 2 and then, of course, also, you know, press spacebar. Uh, and that's only two actions with one button. Is that really that big of a deal? Probably not. The problem is that obviously macros are pretty bad uh, because you could essentially macro your whole rotation into pressing just one button, right? Or two buttons or whatever. Uh, so it's really not good to have, and it is against TOS as well. And people actually got banned back in the day, uh, a few months ago, actually, for using this to clear your, their inventories. So even though I don't think it's really that big of a deal that people would use them in the first place, uh, especially because one of the macro uh, um, activities, well, yeah, um, inputs would be outside of the game. Um, I don't think it's really that important, but at the end of the day, it is against us, and you shouldn't do it anyways. And honestly, just for two buttons where you can just click and then press spacebar, I don't really see any... Yeah, like, just don't do it. Like, why would you do it, right? Um, but yeah. Now, 
Now, I actually saw another post and another picture that someone in my chat gave me. And this is actually today as well. This is on EU right now. But why is this happening on EU? What's the difference? At the end of the day, the, um, the actual feature that makes FK or not be able to play the game anymore, or AFK farm, is in both servers. Well, I think the difference is that these people are probably multiboxing. Um, and probably what they're doing are just, you know, they have multiple accounts with different games in, uh, you know, different, different instances of the game. And they're just going in, keeping the same AFK rotation, and every five minutes, they go in each of them, or maybe have a macro for it, where they space bar or something to make it no work for them, right? So they can actually get kicked out. And this is honestly, I think, a problem. Because, yeah, there's... Oh, that being said, yeah, it is a problem, but it is against 2S. So I think most of these people probably will be able to get banned if Anet saw this. And maybe we have a problem in terms of moderation. Because in NA, we do know that there's, you know, there's at least one GM that goes around. And what he does is he goes in and asks, guys... Uh, if you're here, please just move to this spot here right now in order for me to know that you're, you know, you're actually playing the game. And the people that are actually AFK farming, well, semi-AFK farming, actually go and move, and then the, the developer knows, hey, these people are actually playing the game. And people that aren't there, and they're just bots or macros users, they're not paying attention, and they can't move all their characters there simultaneously, get banned, right? And honestly, this is not a horrible way of doing it, right? And of course, with this new system that we actually, you know, kind of filters a lot of the people that are actually AFK at the same time, it's going to be way easier for them to uh, see the bots. Now, of course, fighting bots is very difficult. Most MMOs don't really have a good way of doing it. Like, fuck, WoW has problems with that. Old School Runes game has problems with that. Uh, Lost Ark has problems with that. And I'm sure Throne of Liberty also did as well. And I'm guessing it's going to happen when it actually raises on the on the on the west as well. Uh, so it is definitely not an easy issue, and I'm not saying that this is going to you know be fixed like this, and we're going to have no problems anymore with this. But it does seem like to be a good uh, step in the right direction right now. Now, I also think there's another issue that we need to talk about as well. Is that right now, if you outrun, you can actually skip this entire thing. You will not get auto kicked if every five minutes. Even if you don't press anything, as long as you're running. Uh, and I'm guessing this is probably a bug. I don't think it's really intentional. And I'm pretty thinking that it's easy-ish for Anet to play, uh, to fix it. Now, the thing about auto-walking is that you can use it to farm at the same time as you're walking, right? Uh, you can just sit here and you can just wait until the enemies appear. And then you can make you, you know, you, your build can just farm itself and you will never get kicked, right? Which is definitely an oversight. I don't think it's on purpose. And I think they probably, and I'm making this video because I want them to fix it, because I don't want eventually from the farmers to find ways to abuse this to continuously farm forever. Uh, right now, most of these uh, spots are not really friendly for this kind of strategy, as that you end up being too far for the enemies to attack you, or there's no spots to actually auto walk on, um, or stuff like this, but I'm sure that they'll find a way um, to evade this actual um, system without breaking to us and them not being able to be banned, right? Uh, or not in an easy way, or, or making it so it's not easy to understand that they are actually uh, AFK, right? Uh, so, <coughs> I think Enid really needs to, you know, get in here and fix this problem. It already works in World War II all this way. You will get kicked, even if you're auto-walking outside of the spawn. Um, if you're in the spawn for some reason, it does let you, but, I mean, look, you can just use the, you know, they can um, in some way make it so, you know, it, in PvE at least, doesn't work this way so hopefully that works because i really i think the overall these things are very good and they're overall working pretty well but they need to you know they need to um they need to do that right so hopefully um hopefully it keeps getting better i'm not sure i don't think it's gonna fix everything i think we're gonna have bots forever a little bit at least but every step in the right direction is a good thing and the price is probably gonna go up of materials which is good for us because that way we can actually sell them while we're farming the game so overall i think it's gonna be very nice a very nice uh very nice changes and i'm happy that i need are working on the game and making it better for every one of us so tell me what you guys think tell me if you disagree with anything i said and uh, see you guys around